get ready to study hard and hopefully party harder in the world of Brightchester. It's home to three areas, with two of these serving as university campuses for the Foxborough Institute and the University of Brightchester. And the two campuses are complemented by a central area that sits between them called Gibbs Hill. Now close those university textbooks and get ready because we're about to look at everything that the world of Brightchester offers, including some of its more unusual secrets. Let's begin by exploring the Gibbs Hill area. And at the top of this area is a library lot with some generally pretty gardens to either side. If you walk south from here, you'll head down a hilly street with a mid partition filled with various plants and trees, with there being cute paths to walk on either side. Because if we're going to choose a path to walk on, it's going to be the cute one. At the bottom, you'll meet a more defined road and know that you can take some cheeky steps down to the canal and that there are more steps down opposite on the other side of the canal as well. What can you do when you travel here? Well, I don't know, because there isn't even a spot to fish at here, but it could potentially be great for some sneaky date kisses. You can also travel along this canal, whereby really you'll just see a lot of road and a few lots. Know though that there is a small park nearby the Peppers Pub Bar, and that this spot can make for a cute location to go camping if you have access to tents or sleeping bags. Now it's along the canal in this main area that you'll find bridges which lead to two more areas. One of these is down to the right of the main large area in Gibbs Hill, and this spot mainly features two small lots which are located up on a little bit of a ledge. The second one is down across the bridge nearby the pub, and this leads to a very small path that brings you to what appears to be a fairy ring. And this is perhaps the most interesting place in Brightchester, as it's where the secret society meets up on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at night between 10pm and 2am for Sprite Celebration Rituals. I'll cover how to join the secret society soon, but know that the stone in the middle of this fairy ring is an altar whereby secret society members can make offerings to sprites and even check in with the sprites for various effects. And I'll have a link to a full guide on the secret society in the description. Now let's move on and take a look at the Foxbury Institute campus. If we start out in the middle, you'll notice a large university statue that you can view for a bit of fun, or alternatively you can yarn bomb it, toilet paper it, or deface it. If you attend university at Foxbury, then you'll also be able to make an offering for academic success at the statue too. And know that this can leave your sim with a focused moodlet. If you offer up something particularly good, such as an excellent quality metal, crystal, or even an excellent quality food like cake, then you might end up with a plus three surreal focus moodlet. And getting this moodlet is the first step in joining the secret society. After you get this moodlet, you'll want to go about living your best uni life. And in the next few nights, you'll be visited around midnight from two secret society members who will invite you to join. I know, it's very strange, but in the best way. Now back to the statue, and if you go a little across from here, then you'll see some steps down either side of a fountain that leads to some open ground with another statue. And it's a little bit up from this orange statue that you'll find a Foxbury kiosk, which you can use to get university info, buy university clothing items, and buy university items, including lots of cool posters and fun decorations, and most importantly, laptops. Also know that there is a second kiosk near the main statue as well, now it's around this large central campus area that there are lots of buildings of interest. Two of these buildings can be used by sims to sit in on skill classes between 9am and 9pm, costing 250 simoleons but giving you experience in a skill of your choice. You'll also be able to use these two buildings to attend guest lectures between 5 and 7 p.m. And additionally, you can use these buildings to tutor sims for skills that your sim is at least level 4 in themselves, receiving a small payout once the rabbit hole event is completed. Know that if your sim is a student, then it's also here that you'll attend your classes. You'll also find the Foxbury Commons around this central area in a slightly elevated section, and you can often find a food store selling food and drink here too. Additionally, around this central area is a sporting stadium, with soccer games occurring at 6pm on Fridays and esports games happening at 6pm on Saturdays. 
During these times, you'll be able to attend the event that's taking place, which goes for a few hours. Nearby the sports center or venue is the university housing, and while there's a decent amount of space for your sim to travel around the housing, this space is ultimately just filled with statues and benches. Now there are areas further out that you can travel through as well, including a pathway that loops behind the university housing which your sim can walk around on. This eventually leads around to the right whereby there's a fountain and a lot of hedges which is close to a small shorefront for the river. There's a couple of plants that you can find along here and it's also a place whereby you can fish. Overall, it makes for a nice place to visit and hang out with some uni friends. This general area also leads you to a university housing lot which then connects to a normal street, with your sims being able to hang out at the small dead end road nearby. It's worth noting that the paths along the outer edge of the campus behind the buildings do continue all the way around, but there isn't all that much to do besides walk along them. It's also worth noting that Foxbury looks rather awesome and kind of futuristic at night, which is is pretty engaging. For some reason at night I swear it feels like it's a university for aliens. It's not, but aliens are of course welcome and would fit in rather well. Now just before moving on, know that Foxbury organizations will gather around the campus from time to time too. The Foxbury Spirit Squad will have their game day party on Fridays from 3 to 7 p.m. near the sports center and they'll also have their school spirit day on Saturdays at the main quad or central area from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Both of these are really fun and just center around Foxbury University pride, as well as drinking and the usual university shenanigans. You also have the Bots Events organization that meets up from 7 to 11 p.m. at the Commons on Tuesdays and Thursdays for their robot building catch-up. In addition, the Bots Events also have a utility bot contest on Sundays from 12 to 6 p.m. at the main quad. And this is a rather fun event that sees robots flying around everywhere. It's time to say goodbye to futuristic Foxbury and turn our attention to the University of Brightchester campus. And once again, there's a central area with a statue in the middle, this time of a giant book. And just like the one in Foxbury, you can view, yarn bomb, toilet paper, and deface the statue. And of course, students can also make offerings for academic success for focus moodlets or to gain access to the secret society as well, provided that they attend the university. It's again around this large central campus that there are lots of buildings of interest. There are buildings that serve as student accommodation, and on top of this, there are two buildings that can be used to sit in on skill classes, attend guest lectures, and tutor other sims, just like you could at Foxbury. And once again, it's here that your university students will attend classes as well. Also, just like in Foxbury, there's a sporting stadium located around the main quad here too, and at the University of Brightchester, the eSports games occur on Fridays at 6pm, and the soccer games on Saturdays at 6pm. You'll also notice two university kiosks on either side of the quad, which again can be used to get university info and to buy university clothing and items. One of these kiosks is right outside the commons and there's often a place to grab food outside the commons. Then if you head behind the commons then you'll find a few steps down to a picnic area by some water with a spot to fish at as well. If you travel down from this main area you'll go through a range of campus buildings that are less interactable but which are still quite pretty. There's a few cute spots for your sims to hang out at including another small shorefront area that leads to a swimmable place on campus, which I thought was pretty neat and a little sneaky, as at first the water didn't strike me as an area that you could swim in. You'll also see a university housing spot down this way too, which is more so located towards the left of the area. And I also wanted to point out that if you go all the way over to the right of the campus, then there are some paths that lead across the small canal to some more buildings. I don't actually know why you'd go here, but I just wanted to tell you that you can. Now there's a range of organizations that will gather around Brightchester from time to time. The Brightchester Spirit Corps has two game day parties on Friday and Saturday. Saturday afternoon from 3 to 7 p.m., which happens around the school quad grounds. Then on Sunday, there's the Brightchester Creativity Day, which again happens around the quad, and it will see your sims painting murals and all around living their best life showing their Brightchester pride. The Art Society also regularly gathers around Brightchester grounds to figure paint. They do this on Sunday, Monday,
Monday and Thursday from 3 to 7 p.m. near the stream behind the common area. And another event that you might see happening is the Debate Guild's Debate Showdown, which occurs on Sundays from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Quad, and this can make for a rather fun event to attend. And with that, we're at the end. That's a look at what the world of Brightchester has to offer, including its features and secrets. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.